he Barber then comes out on the show today and, and just gives completely false uh, information in regards to saying that the reason the Jets didn't hold a dual practice was in regards to the fact that he he said that because Hard Knocks is there, Robert Sala was not going to be at practice. And therefore, Hard Knocks, who was filming, they didn't want to have Hard Knocks film if Salah's not going to be there. Well, there was a complete lie because Robert Sala was at practice, by the way. He was there. And the reality of it is Tiki Barber just flat out gave falsified information and it just didn't make any sense or correlate to anything because when you're on the radio, the media, anything like that, of course, you could get things wrong. You could say things out loud, everything like that. This morning, Tiki Barber, I mean, there were there were pictures and everything that Sala was at practice. So I don't understand where Tiki Barber got this information from. And I, listen, he has said on the air, he is not a Jet hater. That's a lie. Number one. And number two, I saw WFA and went to Jet practice on Tuesday. Sean Marash and Ivan Roberts were there, uh, judging from the pictures on Twitter. But why was Tiki Barber not there? But yet Tiki Barber went to visit the Jets at practice a couple weeks ago. But why was Tiki not there Tuesday? So my question is, how did Tiki Barber come up with this fugazi story? That's the thing I'm trying to figure out with Tiki is where did he get this from? Because clearly he did not check uh, Twitter to see that Robert Sala was indeed at practice, number one. But also, number two, the Jets have a preseason game tomorrow. Why would Robert Sala not be at practice unless it was a medical emergency or something, a very serious family issue? So that's the part I'm still trying to get clarified because you make up a story like that. Also, you're also hurting your character as in regards to the media. Because the thing of it too is he doesn't just work for WFN. He also calls games. He calls games for CBS Sports. So that's the part I'm really trying to get figured out: is where did Tiki even decide to? Hey, let me come up with this story and see if it hits. But dude, nothing about it was remotely even true. I get it. But every Jet reporter came up from Connor Hughes to Brian Costello to Zach Rosenblatt. So all the reporters basically said a second after the story was posted was. Yeah, no, Salah was, Salah was there. You know, that's the thing. And it, it, it's interesting that this would even be something that Tiki would even say to the public. And the fact that Evan Roberts didn't even stop him. He let the story continue on and on. That's the weird thing about it is why did, Tiki, why did Evan Roberts, his co-host and social media partner, let him say this? So I just thought that was a very weird story. The other story that's come out for the New York Jets this week, it's in regards to um, the post that was reported from Aaron Rodgers in regards to saying he loves his seven teams, I like Garrett Wilson and Devontae Adams. And then he put David Bakhtiari on there on the post. And people were trying to figure out, well, what does this mean in regards to David Bakhtiari? Does, is Aaron Roberts, excuse me, is Aaron Rodgers sending a subtle message to the Jet organization, go out and get David Bakhtiari. The reality of it is this. One, Brian Gutenkus came out today and said, yeah, we were definitely not training David Bakhtiari because I look at it in this perspective. If you're the Green Bay Packers, why would you give David Bakhtiari to the New York Jets when you are, listen, they're going to own that first round pick. Why would you help the the Jets out and make that first round pick possibly be lower in the in the draft order? Wouldn't you, if you are the Packers, one you have Jordan Love there? Wouldn't you want to see Jordan Love develop and actually have a left tackle who's a very good player on that line too, and have a continuity on that line? It also goes back to why would the Packers trade him to the Jets if it makes the Jets better? The Packers are going on that first round pick. So that's the part to me I'm still trying to say, you know, why would this trade happen?